Good morning, it's Diane, and I am here to color um, some safety pen or paper clips with alcohol ink for the vintage journals that I've been making. I don't usually use this many paper clips, but this time I have a lot of things clipped into the pa onto the pages. So I'm going to use some alcohol inks to make the paper clips look less shiny and new. So I'm pulling out some of my alcohol ink colors to see which ones I want to do. Those cups may be a little too small. I have some larger ones here. I get these little cups at Walmart where the paper plates are. They have these little kinds of cups. They come with lids. I just throw the lids away. So I'm going to just put some alcohol ink into, and I'm wearing rubber gloves or latex gloves, as you can see, because this will stain your hands for a while. So I'm just going to put some alcohol ink into the cup. This one is ginger. I'll add a little caramel to it. I think I'm going to add a little bit of alcohol to it just to give it a little more volume in there. So you can see there's not much in there doesn't even really cover the bottom. But I'm going to drop some paper clips in there. And just kind of toss them around. Move them around with my hand, which is why I wear gloves until they're coated. Alcohol dries quickly, so these won't take long to dry. You can color other metal pieces with alcohol inks, too. They're not covered um, evenly. There will be some like spottiness to the color, but I like that look because it's vintage. Okay, now let's just see how this other color looks. This one is Latte. And I'll add some caramel to that one too. These look lighter in color. It may be that I put more alcohol in this because I'm pretty sure I did. So it doesn't seem to be covering them as well. I think I put too much alcohol in. Or maybe it's just that that latte is too light. I'm going back to the ginger. better.
This is more than what I need for those books, but I have some extras colored now. It's easy to do, and it doesn't take long, but it's just something I don't... It's messy, you know, I have to wear gloves. But it's not a big deal. It's pretty easy. Okay. There's that. I'm going to let them dry. I figured that wouldn't take too long, so... I thought that since I have the camera on, it's only been six minutes. Oh dear. There's ink on the outside of that bottle, so my hands will probably have a little bit on them. Anyway, so what I did was I got out some stamps. My friend gave me some stamps. Now, where did I put them? Right there they are. She gave me this set of stamps from Stampin' Up! And she said the only one she wants back is a sewing machine. So I'm going to use that. <coughs> and so I can give that back to her. She gave it to me before Christmas when I was making Christmas journals because she brought me some Christmas stamps to use too. So I want to give them back to her. She said she wasn't in a hurry. She doesn't use the, use the things, but she sews. She makes quilts and things like that. So she wants her sewing machine stamp back eventually. So I thought I would pull out my scraps that I've been saving to do stamping on to make embellishments with. And I'll make some with the sewing machine and probably do some others too while we're at it. I'm not going to make finished embellishments. I'm just going to stamp and then I'll do something with it later. Well, maybe I will do a little finishing. I'm going to get my super punch. You don't want to just sit here and watch me stamp. You want to watch me make something. Okay, so that's not centered. That will be something else. That's not centered either. So I did order those um, blending brushes from Amazon that Mrs. Coggs was talking about. They should be here on Friday. I'm anxious to try them. One of my viewers said she saw found them in the makeup department. I had said that I found them at Walmart, but she got, it was either four or five brushes for $16, and on Amazon it was 10 brushes. They're different sizes. 10 brushes for 15 which was still more than I wanted to pay. But one of my viewers said she found them in the makeup department for four brushes for $5. Well, not at my Walmart. I don't know what... I, she didn't say it was at Walmart, so I don't know where she was. Once I get them, you can look at Mrs. Cog's channel, and she has a video on them. Or you can... I'll show them to you when I get them and do a demonstration, because I'm anxious to see how they work. So there's one. I might do something else to it later, but I don't know. Then I just have these coffee dyed strips of paper that I don't want to throw away. So these will be used in clusters. I can cut off the words if I want to. It says, so glad we're friends, S-E-W. So this is interesting, isn't it? I think that's a little too narrow. I can use a cheese grater. Grateful for you. That would be cute in a kitchen 
uh, cooking journal, but I would cut off the grateful for you part. I think I remember these being in the Stampin' Up! catalog, and I liked them. I always like the ones that, that look like vintage black and white drawings. But I didn't get them. Now I'm glad I didn't, because my friend gave them to me. <clears throat> you can go back to the sewing machine for this one. I appreciate all the kind things you said about Teddy's video and the person who gave the thumbs down. It's nice to have supportive friends here on YouTube. So thank you. Hope you perk up soon. <laughs> I just want the coffee pot. Now I have this scrap of cream colored cardstock, so I'm going to use my little label punch here. Not so little label punch. This is Fiskars. sewing machine on it. This one will say so glad we're friends because I can't cut that off. I could mask it so it doesn't stamp on there but I'll just do it. And this one I can use a camera. Old fashioned camera. It says picture perfect. I'm working on finishing up the second set of um, the pretty vintage journals that I'm making. So I'm working on the covers and I should have them done today. So today's Wednesday. So I'll probably list them on Thursday. But I will give you details with the video when I flip through those journals. So, but it'll probably be Thursday at some point, Eastern Time. They're cute, and I can put some eyelets in the edges if I want to, the little ends. Okay. I have a lot of um, sewing machines now, but if I give them back to her, I'll probably want more. Well, let's see. This paper is quite big. Oh, I forgot. You have to cut this to the right size. I can cut this to two and a half inches and then get a little tag out of it. Whoops, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's colored on the back, but I can, I'll end up gluing it down onto my page. I'm using the typewriter. Just my type.
really don't want the words rubber baby buggy bumpers on there. I don't really want to use that because I guess I'd have to put that in a baby journal. So I'm going to do this on an index card. I'm going to get a scrap here. Cover up the words. I don't know how to do this. How do you do this? Oh, well, you can barely see some words there. I can probably fit them on some squares too. I have some square and, and uh, scallop punches. I even have an oval punch. Just barely fits on this piece of paper. By the way, let's check out our paper clips. I could um, douse them again to get a little more color on them, but I like the spotty effect. So they're not all bright and shiny now, so I guess that's good. So as soon as I'm finished here, I can go back to working on those journals. This is folded into a little booklet type of thing. do with this is tear this tracing paper, stamp an image on it, and then glue that down to that. What I was going to do was tear it after I stamped, so I could tear the words off. I don't know what it needs behind it, but it needs something.
See that pretty little flower there? table where the glue sticks are. Now, I have a square here that I didn't use yet. Okay, let's see what we can stamp on these shapes. It says sorry about that, so I don't want the words on there. But I like that old-fashioned typewriter eraser. My mother used to have one of those, or probably lots of those. She's giving me these stamps. I could actually cut those parts off, but I'm afraid to do that yet. the little corner of the cheese grater. That cheese grater is perfect for that oval though. Picture perfect. This one I guess I don't mind the words on. do one square if I can this might be too small for any of these maybe the camera will just barely fit on there so I'm gonna just finish stamping on these little shapes that I have cut out and then I'll get back to work on my journals so I hope that you found this helpful especially with the first part, alcohol inking the paper clips. Thanks for hanging out with me for a while. I'll be back later. Bye.